Hello Virgo viewers. I'm sorry this video might be a little bit shorter than most of my videos. I will be back to my regular schedule on the 15th, so please just bear with me here. I'm going to look into, you know, whatever the cards want to say, whatever the current story is. And as always, you can always, you know, get a private reading from me. Just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. And please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, my feelings for you are stronger than I let on. I'm thinking about what you said. I think about, so they're really in their head right now. I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. You might have been open with this person about how you were feeling, and now they're thinking about it. Because I'm hearing, I don't know if I mentioned, I, I know I mentioned the song Unthinkable by Alicia Keys. I don't know if it was for... Virgos or if that was for another zodiac group but that came up like a month or so ago and I'm hearing that song again um because it just feels like someone like maybe you made a move maybe you confessed your love or you were romantically open with someone or you even gave someone an ultimatum like something you said has stuck with this person you know their feelings for you they're not fully expressing their feelings their feelings are a lot stronger than you realize and they think about you all the time you know, I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity alone, but I can't. I need answers. So it's almost like you both need answers from each other. It's like there's something here that's not being said is what I'm getting. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I lied to you. What is this lie about? Show me what this lie is about. I had a huge epiphany. Okay, what's up here? <laughs> You're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels easier to just live in this imaginary world I've created in my head. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. I feel like this person is... I feel like this person is almost not downplaying the connection, but I think that there's certain things that are happening right now and they're trying not to freak you out. Like, I think this person might be dreaming about you or might be, like, going through a psychic awakening and, like, telepathically communicating with you or just seeing the synchronicities, like, hearing your name everywhere. Um, just odd things that they can't just brush off as coincidence. But maybe, they're, maybe they don't want to seem crazy or maybe they just don't want to come on too strong. I just keep getting this person's trying not to come on too strong. Um, but this person might be, like being too aloof. It's it's a weird energy. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're holding back a little bit. Because I feel like they're dreaming about you. I feel like there's, I feel like there's a lot going on in the 5D, like a lot of like, tele, like things going on telepathically. And I feel like they're not fully telling you about that. Like, I feel like they're, they're keeping some secrets here because they're not sure how you would take it or they don't want to freak you out too much. There's no one like you. I realize now that I will not be able to find a love like ours with someone else. So yeah, I just get the energy here that like no one compares to you. Like they're not really in love with anybody else. Like they just feel like, like if this is a third party situation, it like you're the person that they're dreaming about. You're the person that they're missing is the energy I get here. I'm working hard to remove obstacles that have been keeping us apart. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or my twin flame. You're the one. Yeah, I feel like almost like this person feels shocked that you're even giving them attention or that you love them. I feel like this person feels like... Maybe you've been hinting at this for a while and they weren't seeing that you were flirting with them and now they are starting to get it. Like it's starting to register for them. Like, maybe this could be someone from your past, too, that you haven't even, you know, maybe you guys haven't talked much lately. Um, and it's like, maybe you tried to pursue them before and they were in a dark place or they were kind of you know, closed off or had a lot of distractions in their life. So they thought you were just being friendly. And now, you know, have you ever had that happen where it's like you completely forget about someone and then months later, it's like you just feel them and you just start missing them out of nowhere it kind of feels like maybe for a few of you that's kind of the situation where it's like in this in their current mentality in the past it's like they didn't realize that you were serious about them that you were really trying to flirt with them 
you know, they had too much going on, they were too distracted. And now, you know, maybe they're in a calmer place. So now they're looking back and they're like, oh, shit, like that, like he or she was trying to flirt with me. Like, oh, wait a minute. Like there was something there. There was love there. So, you know, this person's in like a very romantic, idealistic kind of mindset right now. This person's really like fantasizing about you. Um, and there's there's no one that compares to you. You know, they realize that you are their person. You are, you know, the one, even if some time has gone by. There's there's a very strong psychic connection here, too. I really feel like you're showing up in this person's dreams or, um, you know, they're fantasizing about you and they're just not. I think that's what the lying card was about when it says I lied to you. I think that they're not fully expressing their emotions. I think that they don't want to freak you out. So they're probably, you know, if you guys are talking, they're probably trying to keep it kind of casual when, you know, in reality, they're, you know, falling in love with you. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I'm damaged and I don't know how to open my heart again. I love you. I feel like they are opening their heart though, you know? Like, I feel like they are despite the damage. I often think about the last night we saw each other. There's someone new coming into your life. I'm going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. Yeah, I really feel like... I feel I really feel like this person's going through a psychic awakening and I feel like they're trying to hold it back because they don't want to freak you out like they might be having dreams about I'm getting that there was like a dream that they had about you guys getting married or like they had like a dream or like a vision or something of you guys like getting married or you guys like having a close relationship like I think that their third eye is opening a lot and I just think that they they like like for this energy group, it just feels like they don't fully know how to exp like they don't want to come on too strong. You know what I mean? Because some of those psychic insights are probably regarding you. And, you know, they they want to make sure that they have a proper read on you. I feel like this person is like like they want to make sure that they know for sure that you love them back. And I feel like they do for the most part. Like I just feel like some of them it's like they need the extra reassurance. Like some of them don't it's like you have to tell them again and again, and then finally it clicks, you know, kind of like like golden retriever energy is kind of what I'm picking up here. Um, you know, some of them like left or some of them like kind of let you go because they didn't realize what was here. That was the energy I was getting. Remember, I was, I was saying just a couple minutes ago, I was saying... You know, I feel like some of them let you go, not because they wanted to let you go, but they just, they never realized that they even had you, you know, like they never, they thought that you were just being friendly or they thought that, you know, they just, they didn't, they, it didn't click. They had a lot going on. It's like this person kind of has a one track mind, I feel. So it's like this person had other things going on, like career goals or whatever might have been, maybe college, whatever, you know, any number of things, you know, like one track mind kind of thing. And so it's like you would you know, you would smile and flirt and twirl your hair, like male or female. It's like you would try to flirt with them and it's like they were just kind of, it's like it didn't register, you know what I mean? And eventually I feel like you kind of felt rejected so you didn't flirt as much. And I think this person's like looking back now and having all these epiphanies that are coming along with this psychic awakening they're going through and they're like, oh, wait a minute, like this person was flirting with me. This person was trying to show me how they felt. So now they're much more in tune with your feelings. Now they're actually, you know, listening to your feelings. They're acknowledging it. And they're really excited. I get like a very nervous, puppy kind of excited energy. Like very, it's a very beautiful, very romantic, idealistic energy that they're in right now. But I do feel like some of them had like a dream about you where you guys got married or there was some kind of commitment and they're just trying not to freak you out because they feel pretty confident that you love them. But like they they don't know. It's like there's a lot left unsaid on both sides. You know what I mean? They don't want to overdo it. They don't want to overwhelm you. You know, they're they're trying to. This is the kind of person that needs things laid out for them or they don't get it. You know what I mean? It's like this is the kind of person that will like take something and like interpret it and overanalyze it and, 
You have to just be kind of clear and direct with this person or sometimes they just don't get it. You know, because I'm getting that this person might be for some reason worried that you're hesitant. So, you know, or they just, you know, it might be like I said, they're just, they don't want to overwhelm you with all this energy, with all these, you know, because like I said, they're having these psychic insights and they're not used to this energy. Um, but they're very excited. You know, it's a very romantic, idealistic, very good energy. So I'm happy for you guys, whoever this is for. Um, and yeah, as always, if you want a private reading, I can, you know, this is just a general reading, but I can go more in depth into your specific person, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're wanting, whatever you want to know about it. Just send me an email. Again, that email is below in the description box below this video. That email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Please like, share, um, subscribe if it resonates. Any donations are appreciated. Thank you guys for watching.